Todd Dunn here for Life on the Edge. Today I'm starting at the Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse. From here I'm going to head on over to the boat yard to get the first little bit of work done on one of my boats to get it ready for the summer. This will be the first time this year that I've done any work because it's in the middle 40s and I think it's finally warm enough to do something. So I'm going to go give it a shot. So I'm off to the boatyard. Well, I shot a video of myself sanding off the transom, but for some reason my camera glitched and although it saved it, it didn't save it in an acceptable format. So I'm unable to present it, but I'll just talk a little bit about what I did. Uh, basically, I came over here today to sand the transom off in a preparation for a, one of its two annual coats of varnish. The transom is mahogany and at this point has about 16 coats of varnish on it. So it's pretty smooth. I had a choice of machine sanding it with a random orbital sander or hand sanding it. If I'm going to machine sand because the boat is in the boat shed and is very close to adjacent boats, I would have to bring the vacuum cleaner and uh, hook that up to the sander to capture the sanding dust, which the random orbital sander would spray all over the place if I didn't use the vacuum. I didn't feel like bringing that over today, and because the transom is small, I simply decided to hand sand it. So what you don't see is me hand sanding the transom with 320 grit sandpaper. Where we'll start up again is what this, with what this picture shows, the transom sanded out and then I will walk around the boat a little bit just to show what uh, the boat looks like, bearing in mind that the boats on either side of it are only about 8 inches on one side and 15 inches on the other, so you can't see much. Later on in the season when the boat is out of the shed, I will do some more comprehensive tours of it. So that's where I am right now. Uh, and we will have a look at the rest of the boat right after this. Okay, that's done. So now I'm just going to give you a little tour. You'll have to wait for the camera to catch up with the light changes because this is a pretty dark shed. But here's Tortuga's hull looking forward. You can see how close the next boat is. It's right there. There's the cabin house. It's mahogany with a lot of glass. 17 windows up there. And I'm going to walk up to the forward end of the boat and you can see how tight the space I have to go through is. It's pretty narrow. They really pack the boats in here. Just barely fit through that gap. All right, we'll walk up here and get a picture of the bow. Best I can. All these other boats are wedged in. Here's the bow of Tortuga. Can't get very far away in here. There we go. And over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be sanding all of the painted and varnished surfaces on the boat in preparation for this year's coat of paint. And I'll also be going down and sanding the bottom in preparation for its coat of paint. So owning an old wood boat, just the maintenance on it is pretty time consuming. So anyway, I'm going to head over to the chandlery now to pick up some additional bits of stuff that I need, in particular some wood screws. The reason for that is that last fall when the boat was hauled, the uh, fastenings that hold the worm shoe to the bottom of the keel, which is a piece of teak that's screwed onto the bottom of the keel, I don't know if you can see it down here or not, those fastenings let go. And you can't really see it down here, there isn't enough light but it's down there. The fastenings let go 
and I'm going to have to refasten the worm shoe. I'm a little disappointed with those fastenings. They were the original iron boat nails the boat was built with 81 years ago. Can you believe it? They only lasted 81 years. Here's a friendship sloop that's sitting next to me. Uh, and I'll cut through here and we'll get a view. Show you just how much room I have to work on this boat when I'm doing maintenance on the hull and painting. There's about 15 inches in there. The boat hauler was generous and gave me lots of room. Okay, so get another little another view of the cabin house up there. And I didn't bring my ladder today, so I'm not going to go aboard. I'll save that for a tour later in the season. So I'm off to the chandlery to buy some bronze wood screws to refasten the worm shoe. And I'll explain briefly why I'm using bronze for that uh, after I pick up the screws. <laughs> 